We're standing in the crypt of the Grand Masters, below the conventual church of the Knights of St. John. The crypt was hewn out of the rock and lies immediately under the altar. Over here we find the first 12 Grand Masters that reigned during their sojourn in Malta. We find here Fra Philippe de Villiers de Lilladam, who reigned between 1521 and 1534. He is remembered for his prudence and for his piety. On the 26th of October, 1530, he brought the order to Malta. Originally, this Grand Master, Lilladam, was buried at Fort St. Angelo and was brought here at a later stage. We can see his beautiful sarcophagus here. Carved out of one piece of marble is the image of the Grand Master, lying, patiently praying. The detail is astounding and is said to be the work of the Caginis in Sicily. Here we also find Fra Jean de Vallette Perizot, who reigned between 1557 and 1568. He is the hero of the Great Siege. He was a prince and attached to the Long of Provence, and he had a particularly strong alliance with Philip II, King of Spain. He is known for his courage and strong character. On the 15th of May, he led the knights against Suleiman's Armada in 1565, a siege that lasted four months. It is said that the Grand Master laughed in the face of fear. Pike in hand, he fought in the Great Siege. Not once did he take a step backwards. Now confident and victorious, on the 28th of March, 1566, he laid the foundation stone of this city, which has his name, Valletta. He was originally buried at the Church of Our Lady of Victories, which was in fact the first church that was built within the cities. A little church which was a favorite of his. In fact, his heart is still buried there. Later on, when this church was ready, the remains of his body were brought here and laid in this sarcophagus. His sarcophagus, beautifully carved, is carried by two symbols of courage. One is a griffin and the other a lion and they are also symbols from his coat of arms. The lid is of particular interest because it is cast out of bronze and the Grand Master in his paraphernalia lies there waiting for the day of the last judgment. Amongst the most illustrious of Grand Masters is the Grand Master Fra Jean de la Cassière who reigned between 1572 and 1581. He is well known for his justice and integrity. In fact, he built this church from his own expense and gave it as a gift to the order. The elegant classical lines of the sarcophagus of the Grand Master is carried by four lions. Above the sarcophagus are two angels. One holds the plan of the church and the other one holds the plan of the crypt. In the center, we find the words written hoc ominis caro, which means here lies the man. He waits patiently for the day of the last judgment. The Sienese artist Niccolò Nassoni was brought over to Malta by the Grand Master Marcantonio Zondadari with the particular mission to decorate the Grand Master's script in a style that it deserved. The crypt focuses on the creation of mankind and his journey through life. The inscription on either end says Inisque ab origine pendit a grandis parvis acerus which means the end depends on the beginning, without distinction between great and small. Niccolò Nassoni was known for his quadratura technique 
and the beautiful trompe that he used for the architecture, giving this space a three-dimensional quality which does not really exist. With a restricted palette of only shades of grey and earth colours, he paints this beautiful chamber, adorned with the most exquisite decorations of cornucopias, skeletons and acanthus leaves. According to the Catholic faith, on the day of the Last Judgment, there will be a physical resurrection. And the Grand Masters of the Order are waiting patiently here in the crypt for that special day. Mm-hmm.